Hello guys, this is Raven from Digital Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 122. WhatsApp is rolling out the disappearing photo features for beta users, which is known as View Ones. This is familiar to how Instagram's expiring media feature works. The photo will disappear once the receiver opens it and leaves the chat. This feature is currently available for Android WhatsApp users. LinkedIn has reportedly suffered a major data breach. Data of about 700 million LinkedIn users have been posted online for sale. Leaked data contained full names, email addresses, phone numbers, physical addresses, geolocation records, personal and professional experience, backgrounds, inferred salaries and many more information. Down and out by Indian studio Zatoon finally has a release date which set for release on July 27th and we are enthusiasts in India cannot wait to see what wait them in this beat and up VR is one of the most exciting frontiers of technology with limitless applications and VR gaming has been hitting a lot of eyes as of late Oppo Reno6 and Reno6 Pro have been listed on Flipkart with the coming soon tag. The phones went official in China last month alongside the Reno6 Pro Plus. Oppo Reno6 and Reno6 Pro comes with a diamond strip processor, 5G support and a 90Hz AMOLED display and a 65W fast charging. The Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra may go on sale in the first week of July. This flagship offers a 6.81 inch AMOLED display and a Snapdragon 888 processor. It is priced at around 69,999 Indian rupees. The Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite was recently launched in India and has already seen a great success in the region. Now the company has revealed that the device sale has broken records, reaching around 200 crore Indian rupees that is roughly around 26.8 million US dollars within just the first week of its launch. Xiaomi has just announced their latest partnership which is called as Active with Cult by Mi. This collaboration is with Cult.fit for the promotion of health and fitness in India. Several manufacturers have begun to introduce their own memory expansion technology such as Vivo, Oppo, Xiaomi, Huawei, Honor and so on. They have introduced memory expansion technology to give low memory phones a smooth experience. Redmi Note 10 Pro 5G have received a new software update in China. The update brings support for RAM expansion technology which added a 2 GB option for memory expansion. The system will offer an additional 2 GB of running memory after it is turned on. This technology will take up a part of storage space and needs to be used when the storage space is abundant Noise is most probably changing the game with its upcoming smartwatches. The new range of smartwatches is a part of Noise ColorFit series. Two of them has been spotted named Noise ColorFit Cube and Noise ColorFit Ultra. Both of these smartwatches are very different from each other. The Ultra model from the name itself seems to pack more than the Cube. The Noise ColorFit Ultra is listed on Flipkart with the coming soon tag, whereas the Noise ColorFit Cube has been listed along with the price tag of 2499 Indian rupees. Apple is one of the leading companies when it comes to wearable devices and that is applicable to the European market as well. According to the data, Apple continues to lead the wearable market in Europe in the first quarter of this year, selling over 7.8 million devices. Apple is controlling about 35.6% of the wearable market in Europe. Second spot is reserved by Samsung with a 16.1% market share, selling over 3.5 million devices. And Chinese companies like Xiaomi, Huawei and Huawei makes the top 5 wearable brands in the continent the reports also add that zobi has managed to sell around 2.5 million devices in the first quarter of this year Apple has announced 22 new bands of Apple Watch themed with the flag colors of 22 countries. The breathable sport loop bands cost you around $49 each and comes in 40 mm and 44 mm sizes, making them compatible with Apple Watch Series 4, Watch Software Edition and later. For each band there is a downloadable strip watch face with each country's specific color combinations. There are multiple services that send OTP messages to you when you want to carry out a transaction or as a form of authentication when you want to register or log in. These messages clog up the inbox especially if you don't delete them immediately. If you use Google Messages then you won't have to worry about these messages. Among the new features that Google will be rolling out to its Messages app in India is an auto deletion of OTP messages after a period specifically 24 hours. Users will be able to turn on the feature as you seen in the GIF and this should help you clear your inbox 
Glenn Vision Aircar has successfully completed a 35 minute test flight between two international airports in Slovakia. The aircar can drive like a normal car on roads and also convert into flight on the go. The flying car has a 163 HP BMW engine, a fixed propeller and a ballistic parachute. And it also features and it runs on a regular petrol pump fuel. It can fly about 1000 km and takes just over 2 minutes to transform from car to aircraft. The pavilion has been for the most part HP's budget lineup that offers slightly chunkier and bigger designs than their prices counterpart but all of that is about to change with the HP Pavilion Aero 13 their lightest laptop yet The Pavilion Aero 13 weights less than a kilogram that is around 0.987 kg If we talk about the features it comes with an AMD Ryzen 7 processor with an integrated graphics and the memory is about 16 GB of RAM and it runs on Windows 10 OS The storage is about 512 GB of SSD it comes with a dual speaker by Bang and Olufsen the battery is about 45 watts which lasts up to 10.5 hours according to HP on to the display the HP Pavilion Aero 13 as a 13.3 inch of a 2.5k IPS display with 400 nits of peak brightness it is priced in the US around 749 US dollars which is directly converts to rupees 55736 but there is not any information as to the availability and pricing of the HP Pavilion in Aero 13 in India yet. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition has shown up on the FCC website. The FCC listing suggested that it will come with a 45 watt fast charging, but Samsung will not include a charger or headphone in the box. Samsung is expected to launch the Galaxy S21 Fan Edition sometime in October. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Galaxy Z Flip 3 appears on Indonesia Telecom. The phones are codenamed as Project Q2 and Project B2. Samsung foldable phones are expected to launch in August. Amazon offers up to 6 months of Disney Plus for free with an Amazon Music Unlimited subscription. But the current users get only 3 months of subscription. That's plenty of time to browse through the rich library of Disney, Marvel, Pixar, Lucasfilm and National Geographic content. Amazon India has launched the Echo Show 10th generation in the country. The new smart speaker features a display as you would expect the flagship Echo Show devices right now. It is also the most expensive Echo device that Amazon has launched in the country so far and has been introduced alongside the cheaper Echo Show 5 second generation. If we talk about the price the Echo Show 10 is priced at rupees 24999 in India which is incidentally a far bit higher than what it cost in USA. The speaker is already available on Amazon in India and can be bought in a black shade. The Amazon Echo Show 10 third generation feature a 10.1 inch display with a 1280 into 800 screen resolution. The speaker setup comprises a 2.1 setup with two speakers on its body and a single woofer unit to drive bass. And at the top of the display users can also get one click switches to mute the speaker or block the display's integrated camera. Using Alexa commands users can choose to turn the display to face them when the camera is active. Users can also opt to use gaze tracking to ensure the display always faces them a feature that may come handy when watching videos the device also features a built-in web browser which can be used to browse third party video sites such as youtube other standard features of echo devices such as built-in alexa smarts as a part of it as well India's homegrown game streaming platform Loco today announced its seed funding round of 9 million US dollars. This round was led by South Korean gaming firm Crafton as well as Lumikai. India's first gaming and interactive media fund. The round also saw a participation by Harshid Hero Capital, North Base Media, Oxlar Ventures and 314 Capital. The company will use the new investment for its innovation efforts across game streaming technology and a gaming content. Additionally, Loco will be spun off into an independent entity from its parent company pocket access and digital entertainment company additionally loco will be spun off into an independent entity from its parent pocket access and independent digital entertainment company Call of Duty fans have grown not only accused storm to the annual release schedule but something they look forward to each year excited to see what Activision has in stores unlike other franchises Call of Duty is worked on multiple studios namely Infinity War Treyarch and a Sledgehammer games this allows Activision to maintain an annual release schedule without putting heavy burden on the single studio Activision are gearing up for an another release in the long running series on the back of the success of Black Ops Cold War Activision updated Bat- Battle.net and change it Call of Duty 2021 to Call of Duty Slipstream. While it does not exactly sound like a proper sequel or a mainline entry, Slipstream is probably just a placeholder title. 
GTA 6 release date could be delayed to 2025 with Rockstar putting greater emphasis on employee well-being. Fans might have to wait a little longer to see Rockstar's open world magnum opus return. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.